What's up guys, so we're here at the Nike Innovation Summit and we're here with Kevin Chappell and he's going to talk to us about golf. Um, two perspectives, one for driver for the amateur because like, you know, if you guys, most of you guys are like, I mean, you suck at golf, so we have a pro here who can tell us how to play. And they will talk about some of the some of the new clubs that Nike got and also, obviously we'll talk about some of the things that So let's start with, um, like with the Covert. Let's talk about the Covert. Covert 2.0, it's where it's at. Um, there's two lines, there's the, the uh, pro line, and then the, the uh, tour line, tour line, tour line in the performance. And the performance line. Forgive me. <laughs> and uh, you know, the tour is going to be um, for those people that are hot, spin the ball a lot, and we don't launch it as high, or maybe launch it too high. So it's going to bring your, it's going to bring the launch down. Um, and then the performance is going to be a little more forgiving, going to help you get it in the air. Um, so traditionally that would be for more for the amateur. Both are going to aesthetically be beautiful to look at, that red color um, and real clean lines um, makes it good looking for everyone. So, so for the new guy that's just getting out there, which, which version should he get? You know, I, I would suggest going to a Nike fitter and getting fit for it. I, I don't think there's one group of people that's going to fit in one and one group of people that's going to fit in the other. I think both are, are definitely playable, especially because they're, the, the heads are bigger this year. Mm -hmm. um, so they're going to be more, naturally going to be more forgiving. Um, but I think it is important to get fit by a Nike fitter and, uh, and they'll help you get the right one. So now they've been talking a lot about the look of the club. How important is that as a, as a golfer, the look of, of the driver for you? It's your, I mean, that's your first judgment on anything really is, you know, what does it look like? Um, aesthetically for me, it's, it's they got the shape right. Um, the color is one of those things that they kind of broke the mold. Um, you know, going red, or, you know, they had white and gray, it's just blocks, but um, the Nike went red, and uh, it's one of those things you get used to. It's actually, it's a beautiful color. Um, very uh, race car or hot rod esque. Right. But, uh, you know, you know, so th those two things uh, are definitely what stick out the most with the, about the driver. So, we obviously, uh, like, we're all into sneakers. Me and my buddies were all into sneakers. So, footwear is kind of a big thing. Which one of your favorite pair to wear on the course? I'm wearing the Nike swing tips on the course, the ones I got on right here. Um, got them in a few different colors. They're uh, comfortable, practical. And uh, look at me, I'm wearing them indoors and I don't look like a uh, <laughs> complete tool. So. so do you have a preference for the spike versus like the integrated traction? Um, for me, I, I've been in the integrated traction all year. Um, I'm not exactly the lightest person on my feet, so I guess it's kind of out of respect for uh, everyone else that's playing to, uh, to wear an integrated spike and don't shoot up the greens as much. All right, and just would you, if someone's never played, would you recommend them just at least giving golf a try? Absolutely. It's a game you can play uh, no matter how young or how old you are. And, uh, you know, it's, it's exactly that. It's a game. It's, it's always changing, always evolving. Uh, and there's no one way to do it. Right. Perfect. See, I told you guys, just go play. Stop worrying about your sneakers and go play. See, it's a young guy. <laughs> I'm the old guy here. He's the young guy. He's playing. He's a professional. He's winning tournaments, integrated traction, lunar swing. So do it. All right, guys. Peace.